called mash. You can guess what happened next. The best way to enjoy Hungarian hot dogs, most agree, is buried in chili and onions and mustard, preferably by the pair or trio. Now available at outposts throughout the region, including one just steps from where minor league baseball's Toledo Mud Hens play. Tony Paco has a fixed ready nearly anyone anywhere craving strikes. So, are you guys uh, with me here? Do we F out? Up next, we have, maybe it's just my computer. I think Keanu was, oh yeah, Keanu was the jumped on the computer. Uh, next up, we have uh, Cincinnati Chili. Uh, now, this does not sound like something I would like. Uh, thanks to Skyline Chili, scores of Americans living outside the Queen City have discovered the matchless joys of Cincinnati-style chili, which fans know has little to do with the Texas reared version. See, I'm from Texas. I like Texas chili. Um, at countless parlors throughout the region, chili refers to that thin, mildly spiced meat-based sauce that is laid over coney dogs or big platters of spaghetti. Yes, that's right, spaghetti. Skyline and early rival Gold Star both cast a very wide net throughout the region and beyond, but many locals prefer to get their two, three, four, and five-way plates at the local legend Camp Washington honored by the James Beard Foundation as an original American classic. Whether you prefer yours topped with cheddar, cheese, or the works, uh, it's a comfort classic, best enjoyed with hot sauce and oyster crackers. I don't know about that. Um, you, oh, rest, Jay, you guys ever had chili on your Set. spaghetti? Gross. Yeah, right? I like, I like, I like Southwest chili, you know? Um, up next, this looks like what I had today uh, for lunch. Uh, you can see on my YouTube channel here. Uh, this is Coetta Hash. So um, at, it doesn't seem like Ohio is known for their food. There's only a few more after this. So up next we have Coetta Hash. At markets and restaurants throughout Cincinnati, shoppers encounter a local staple called Goetta, a dish created and made popular by early German immigrants. Similar to Pennsylvania's Scrapple, this savory breakfast item melds pork, parts, oats, and spices into a sausage-like log that is typically sliced, browned, and paired with eggs and toast. Taste of Belgium chef owner Jean Francis Fletchett buys his goetta from the venerable Eckler on Meats for use in a number of brunch items, but the hash is tough to top. To craft his hash, he sautés goetta to pair with crispy frites, roasted peppers, and onions. The hash is gilded with a pair of fried eggs that, when popped, ooze their silken centers all over the spiced sausage. So that's, uh, that's kind of like the uh, loco moco that I ate today. Goetta hash. All right, up next, um, after goetta hash, we have... Paw Paw Wheat Ale. Now, uh, I don't know what Paw Paw Wheat Ale is, but according to the Food Network, um, it's largely unknown to most Americans, but this, the Paw Paw, is the largest edible fruit native to the U.S. Oh, wow, I've never even heard of it. Miraculously, this tropical fruit tree thrives in the temperate forest of eastern North America, especially in southeastern Ohio. In fact, for almost 20 years, the annual Ohio Paw Paw Festival has taken place each autumn near Athens, Ohio, where the mango-like fruit is concocted into smoothies, salsa, and ice cream. But one of the best applications, many agree, is for use in beer, specifically Jackie O's Paw Paw Wheat Ale, which the popular Athens-based brewery has been seasoning since 2003. The wheat ale is fermented with local paw paw fruit producing lovely notes of melon and banana. Okay, well, I'm not a big beer drinker, but I would like to try the uh, pawpaw. Up next, we have, um, I think this is a beverage. 
this is a bourbon barrel aged maple syrup. Now, bourbon barrel aged maple syrup um, is something common in Ohio, according to foodnetwork.com. Um, in early March, the weather conditions in Northeast Ohio are just right for the annual harvesting of maple. Thanks to an abundance of sugar maple trees, the region has a deep history of not only tapping trees, collecting sap, and boiling it down into maple syrup, but also celebrating the rituals that go along with it. Early spring, uh, counties is, are filled with family-friendly tree-tapping ceremonies, maple sugar festivals, and pancake breakfasts that Bubbles. utilize that woodsy yes. sweet nectar yes. and myriad forms. One, however, manages to stand out. Thistle Maple Farm in Ashtuba County ages their proprietary Ohio maple syrup for months in used bourbon barrels, including some from legendary distiller Old Rip Van Winkle, to craft maple syrup with a smoky complexity that makes everything it touches a new delicacy. So this is a bourbon barrel. So they, they use the barrels for bourbon, and so it gives it a, a, an extra taste. Interesting. Um, up next, we have a, another drink, uh, just a few more food. And this is the last drink products. This is a uh, soda brand that's really popular in Ohio. It's called the Norga Soda. And from what I find, uh, it used to be that every region had its own unique brand of soft drinks, including North Carolina's Cheer Wine and New England's Moxie, which we've both learned about in previous classes. Uh, but from 1924 to 1962, Akron had Norca. Uh, that's Akron spelled backwards, is Norca. Uh, a delicious line of handcrafted beverages that, like most regional sodas, failed to survive as larger brands like Coke and Pepsi um, improved their distribution networks. Uh, revived a half century later, the iconic Norca brand is finding scores of new fans thanks to flavors like orange, cherry, strawberry, ginger ale, and root beer. In fact, unlike the exclusively local footprint of its precursor, today's Norca can be purchased and enjoyed in multiple states and stores throughout the United States. All right, um, up next, just a couple more items here. Uh, we have sweet corn. Wow, this looks uh, really good. <clears throat> I had a big lunch, but uh, you know I'm pro I don't gotta eat again, huh? Uh, so today we have uh, sweet corn. Now Ohio uh, ranks sixth in the United States in corn production, in sweet corn production. Uh, but anybody who lives there can tell you that they're number one when it comes to flavor. Firmly in the corn belt, Ohio grows some of the sweetest corn around, which in turn uh, fuels corn-themed festivals filled with shucking and eating contests, befudding corn mazes, and naturally the crowning of the current year's king and queen corn. Farm-to-table chefs across the state can't wait to get their hands on just picked sweet corn, which rolls by the bushel from July to October. At Wheat Penny Oven in Dayton, chef owner Elizabeth Wiley incorporates local green corn into countless dishes, but the one that diners look forward to most is a pizza called Miss Ohio. In place of tomato sauce, the chef ladies on corn crema, a concentrated corn puree that tastes like 1,000 okay. ears of corn. Set. Hello, G. Hello. The summery pie is topped with house-made mozzarella, local cherry tomatoes, roasted corn kernels, and fresh fruit from the garden basil. So uh, that is a vegan-friendly dish. Uh, instead of tomato sauce, they use corn puree. Um, it looks good. You know, I, I think I would I would enjoy that. Um, up next, we have a uh, famous fish in Ohio. This is fried lake perch. Because uh, remember, Ohio has a border with Lake Erie. And uh, fried lake perch, um, I imagine they get that from Lake Erie. Uh, according to the foodnetwork.com, uh, most fish are caught each year in Lake Erie than in any other the Great Lakes combined. The relatively warm waters, especially in the lake's western basin, make for productive catches of smallmouth bass, largemouth bass, yellow perch, and the beloved walleye. 
All along the coast, but especially on the fun-filled islands of South Bass and Kelly's, fresh-caught, fresh-fried lake perch finds its way into sandwiches, wraps, tacos, and baskets overflowing with fries and coleslaw. On a prime summer weekend, the village pump on Kelly's Island might serve as many as 3,000 hungry visitors, many of whom opt for the mild and sweet fried lake perch dinner baskets, as shown in the picture. Uh, so I really like fresh fish. Um, <laughs> I, I, I love fresh bread, fresh fish, and fresh everything. So I would really like that. Apparently, um, in that region of the country, uh, on the Lake Erie right there, uh, the fresh caught fish is popular in at just about every restaurant. So up next, we have baby Swiss cheese. Uh, nearly half of all Amish families reside in Holmes County, a lush and sweeping countryside in rural Ohio, where horse-drawn buggies are as common sight as English-driven automobiles. It was there in 1947 that Swiss native Alfred Guseberg set up his eponymous cheese-making operation, right alongside the happy cows that provided him with all the sweet grass-fed milk he needed. Guggenberg's baby Swiss, known in characteristic small holes, was crafted to suit more timid American tastes. Its irresistibly creamy, nutty, and mild by comparison flavor is an Amish country original with broad appeal. Fans flock to the shop in quaint Millsburg, Ohio no, to moment. sample cheese Seth, and take home a wheel really like Swiss. or three of this distinctive American product. Well, um, I, I actually do like Swiss. I know it does have kind of a bland flavor for some, uh, but I find it's really interesting how Swiss cheese is actually an American invention. Um, it was invented, you know, in 1947 um, in Ohio. So yeah, I thought it was around forever. So the Swiss cheese is a relatively new kind of cheese. Um, up next we have a Baterton style chicken. Chelsea Long ago, Baperton. Hey, aloha. Aloha, welcome to class. Uh, Baperton style chicken. Long ago, Baperton, a small city 40 miles outside of Cleveland, de declared itself the chicken capital of the world thanks to an abundance of fried chicken eateries where things are done a little differently. Using recipes and techniques imported from Serbia 80 years ago, these chicken houses start with fresh Amish raised birds, which are lightly salted, dusted in flour, tossed in an egg wash, rolled in breadcrumbs, and fried in lard to a sunny disposition. In addition to the wing breast, thighs, and legs, Barberton style chicken also features breaded and fried backs called chicken ribs, a holdover from the depression days. But Barberton chicken is more than just heavenly crisp fried chicken. It's a tradition that always include white bread, coleslaw, fries, and hot sauce, which is actually a stewed tomato and rice dish with Serbian origins. Try some of this at the famous Belgrade Gardens. Hey, thanks for the follow. Thunder Carrot is now following. Thunder Carrot said, Hi, I'm you. What's this stream about? Um, this is a, 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 a geography stream. Um, hold on one second here. This is a geography stream. Uh, hi, I'm your teacher, Mr. G. Um, since you decided to interrupt class right then, <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Welcome to class. If you're wondering about me, uh, I'm the teacher, Mr. G. Uh, my website's oh, on the screen. And that says a little bit about me. And uh, also, uh, it says my background and teaching experience. Uh, we have these classes Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And recently, the past 40 or so classes, we've been going over the United States states, each individual state. Uh, today, we're learning about the state of Ohio. Uh, generally, I'll lecture for about 10-15 minutes about the individual state, and then we'll do a brief slideshow of some of the famous foods from the state, famous people from the state, and famous uh, landmarks from the state. So, uh, continuing on with the lecture, once again, uh, you're I welcome to the class. Uh, thank you for the follow, the and uh, uh, like I said, we do this uh, Monday through Friday. I do other kinds of streaming as well, uh, but continuing on with the class here. Up next, we have Piorgi. 
uh, which you know we have learned in other classes is very common uh, in that part of the United States. Uh, but here's an image of uh, Piorgi, I guess it's pronounced. And uh, according to foodnetwork.com, uh, Parma, Ohio is a working class neighborhood of approximately 80,000 residents, nearly half of whom uh, roots this stretch back to Eastern European countries like Hungary, Poland, Slovakia, and Slovenia. Places where Piori is king. Uh, most Parma households still possess at least one family member who can fashion a few dozen Piorgi in a jiff. But why bother when Piorgi's is on the job? The best Piorgi, anybody will tell you, sport a gossamer thin wrapper as opposed to those thick and gummy exteriors. Uh, Perla starts with fresh dough that is stretched to a delicate limit before adding a dozen different fillings like potato, potato and sauerkraut, and potato, cheddar, and bacon. I, I have had these before, I do remember eating these. Each dumpling is pinched and pressed by hand and parbroiled, leaving just a minute in a hot pan with butter and onions naturally at home to crisp them up. Wow, so you crisp them in butter and onions. That sounds delicious. All right, just a couple more foods here. Um, actually, this is the last one right here. We have Ohio wine. Uh, so I didn't know that Ohio was famous for their wine, uh, but according to Food Network, all Ohio wines are not created equal. Sure, there are plenty of sweet white wines, reds and blushes being produced in the Buckeye State. But the small strip of land that sits just southeast of Lake Erie, known as the Grand River Valley, is different. Its proximity to the warm lake, which extends the crucial fall ripening season, produces the highest quality wine, some of the best in the country. Both white and wine in the state. Famous wineries... Famous wineries like Grand River Cellars, Lorello and Laurentia, red wine grapes like Pierre Noir, Cabernet Sauvignon, Merlot and Cabernet Country Franc, Man. and white varieties Set. like Ohio. Pinot Grillo, Rizzling and Vito Blanc, achieve peak ripeness levels. For a quality taste, give M. Cellars Murtarage a sip and a swirl. <laughs> the Geneva Country Winery's Man. red blend Set. of estate-grown well. Cabernet Merlot, Cab Franc, and Port Bordeaux is jammy, smoky, and exquisite alongside grilled game. <laughs> okay. Sorry, I uh get choked up when I do my evil laugh. So. <laughs> okay, I, I can't laugh any other way. Ha <laughs> ha! It just, it just doesn't, doesn't work. I laugh about once a month. Alright, so um, that was the Ohio. You know, now I'm going to do my Ohio accent for Thunder Carrot. Yo, I'm from Ohio. Don't mess with me. <laughs> no. Uh, I hope everybody uh, enjoyed uh, the slideshow, especially Thundercat. I mean, I did it for you. Just for, no, it's MRS, Jay, the I did it for Mrs. J and for Countryman. Thanks, Mr. G, for another great lesson and teaching. You're welcome. Countryman. Uh, we'll have yes. class again no. Monday, Wednesday, Hi, and Friday of Set. next week. You can send Mr. G noses and Keanu packages to 1117 anyway. And uh, I'll show you, uh, this is the Ohio flag right here. You see it's got an odd shape. <clears throat> this is Ohio State. It's one of the uh, largest states. Great job, Mr. G. Thank you, thank you. Oh, we didn't we didn't go over everything. We still need to go over the state flower, state bird, state tree, and state animal. So let's do that really quickly here. <laughs> You guys are like, what? I thought we were done. You guys can have a great weekend in a second, but just take a look at this picture. We're going to take a look at the state flower is the carnation. The Ohio state flower is the carnation. The Ohio state tree is the, guess it, buckeye, right? Here's a buckeye leaf. Look at a buckeye leaf. Now, I guarantee you, this is not pot. This is a buckeye leaf, right? And... What else? The state bird is the cardinal. Countryman said. 
It looks like poison ivy too. Yeah. Uh -huh. carrot. And Instead, he's the teacher on drugs. The state uh, tree once again is the buckeye. This is a close view of a buckeye. And also, I'll give you a picture of the state capitol. That's the state capitol as well. So, uh, no, I am uh, not on drugs. Um, young lady, or young sir, I should say. I'm not on drugs at all. I'm a great teacher. Uh, once again, my website is on the screen. If you want to know more about me, you can go there. So, uh, don't just believe bullshit. And, and you're starting to wear out your welcome, too. Uh, new new person in the class. You know, generally we're nice to new students, but not always. Not always. So, uh, next week uh, we have a wonderful classes lined up on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and uh, if we can see on the board here, uh, we can uh, do some covering up here. We can we can actually color in some of this right here. Hey, look who it is! It's Lucky. Hey, Lucky. Said. Sorry, Mister G. Oh, it's okay. No hard feelings. I was just, I was joshing around to Thunder Carrot. No hard feelings. No hard feelings. So. Country man said, lucky in the house. Lucky in the house. Lucky in the house. Said, black heart, smiling cat with hot eyes. So we can go ahead and cover in some of these things, right? We can color in Ohio. I don't know where the orange is, so we'll just use this color. So we can cover in Ohio. We can color in uh, Pennsylvania. We did Pennsylvania. Uh, we can color in Maine. We did Maine. Uh, so it looks like we've done the... Oh, we did Alabama. We did Alabama yesterday. So with the exception of Florida, we've actually done the entire East Coast. No, we did North Carolina. I think. But um, and, and all of these are available on YouTube. They're all replayed and available on YouTube uh, comfortably in a playlist. So these are the states that are up next. We have, Il no, we did Illinois. We did Illinois too. We did that Illinois. I remember learning all about Chicago. All right, so up next, all we have next up here as far as the East Coast goes, uh, we have Michigan, Indiana, uh, Florida. What else? Michigan, Indiana, Florida, and then we have Texas, California, Oregon, and Washington up there. So, and then we have Alaska and Hawaii. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, Texas, uh, since I'm born and raised there, that's going to be one of the last that, uh, you know, some ones that I uh, started off with before I knew how to work the uh, camera as well as I do now. Arizona. Okay. I started with Arizona. So the early states, I didn't know how to use the uh, technology as well as I do now. So I kind of want to do Arizona and some New Mexico and some other states again. Uh, but as far as next week go, we do we don't want to rush ourselves, so we'll do Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I think we'll save California, Texas, and Florida for the last three. Uh, so next week we'll go ahead and do Michigan, Indiana, and one of these uh, three West Coasts, either Washington, Oregon, or California. No, either Washington or Oregon next week. So look forward to Michigan, Indiana, and either Washington or Oregon. In the following week, we'll do Texas, California, uh, either Washington or Oregon. So in the next two weeks, we'll finish up. Oh, okay. So, things are looking good. Looks like we'll finish the continental United States within the next two weeks. Um, after that, uh, we'll move on to Alaska and Hawaii, then maybe do Puerto Rico, Guam, the Salmon Islands, um, American Samoa, and uh, you know, uh, the Marquette Islands as well. Different, uh, then maybe uh, we'll do some other things as well. Either way, uh, we're still gonna have, always have classes Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and uh, I wanna wish you guys a wonderful weekend. Uh, thank you for participating in today's class. Can I ask, is that face tracking? Uh, no. Oh, yeah, it is face tracking. That's true. Uh, that's the technology. It's a uh, special camera. 
Amiibo camera. If you want to know more about the camera, on, uh, you can check out my Discord. Bed. Password the camera. Uh, yeah, but um, uh, uh, yeah. So if you want to know more about the camera, um, sh join the Discord. Um, and we'll, I'll, I'll, I can show you some pictures or send you a link. No. Uh, thanks everybody. It's been a Bed. fun week. Uh, the uh, I think there was three different days this business. week where I did three different Set. live streams. So, uh, you know, if you uh, haven't seen my uh, YouTube and Twitch uh, stock market streams, every early morning I do some trades uh, live, uh, either on Twitch or YouTube with the uh, trading stocks. Uh, and then I'll usually sometimes have lunch and then I'll do this morning. stream. So I did a lot Set. this week. And uh, thank you so much, uh, Mrs. J, uh, Nessa, I know she, uh, she's not here, and Countryman, Countryman and Mrs. J, thank you very much for all your help, with, uh, especially with these classes. Um, you guys really make it work and uh, make things roll. And Countryman, you're very extremely knowledgeable. So are you, Mrs. J. Both of you have, have much more extensive traveling in the United States than I have, especially Mrs. J. Uh, you know, you've traveled a lot more than I have. And... Uh, and, and all three of us together, we uh, know how to put on a really awesome class. So, yeah, the haters are going away, and uh, we're getting new viewers every day. So, thanks again if you're watching this on YouTube. Uh, don't forget to like the stream and check it out live on Twitch. Everybody, I'm going to uh, join the Discord right there. And uh, everybody, I'm going to end the uh, class on uh, the Ohio State song. So everybody, uh, be nice to one another and uh, realize that it's a miracle that we're here. So uh, everybody be cool with each other. And no, don't ever try to hurt anybody. And that goes for me too. So here's the state song of Ohio, guys. Hey, Michelle. That's awesome. Thank you, Mrs. J. Everybody have a good weekend. Aloha, everybody. Adam underscore Smith underscore 666. Said. Aloha. Aloha.